Real life exploding animals? Have you ever realized that when a creeper explodes in Minecraft, it's not just destroying your stuff, it's literally self-destructing in the process. That level of self-hatred is rarely seen outside of humans. But what if I told you there are real life creatures that do the same thing? That's right, nature has its own version of a kid-friendly kamikaze. So join me as we dive into some mind-blowing animals and plants that share a surprising connection with creepers. I even contacted an actual entomologist, also known as a bug expert, and you won't believe what she said. Get ready because you'll never look at creepers the same way again. So picture this, you're a termite and you're hanging out defending your four foot tall dirt nest when all of a sudden you see some intruders. So what do you do? Of course you explode like a creeper. Globitermis cerferus is a type of termite that live in central and southern Vietnam. When their nest has intruders, they can defend themselves by contracting their mandibular muscles, which compresses a large gland and causes their bodies to literally explode, spraying a sticky yellow goo everywhere. Disgusting! This sticky goo traps other insects and protects the nest. The brave little termites sacrifice their lives for the sake of the colony. Would you blow up to protect your friends? I barely answer phone calls. And they're not the only ones. Check out Colobopsis explodens, a reddish-brown ant from the treetops of Borneo. Unlike other ants, these guys don't have stingers or strong mandibles. So instead, they just pop themselves open, spraying their enemies with irritating sticky yellow slime. Researchers have even said that it smells good, like curry. What do you think a creeper explosion smells like? Burning leaves? Maybe TNT? I think creepers smell like disappointment. The strategy of exploding your own organs in defense of your colony is called autothysis. Do you think that creepers might also be using autothysis to explode? So I reached out to Dr. Alice Lassini, an actual entomologist, also known as a bug expert. She has a specific passion for exploding ants and science education. I asked her if she thought creepers might be using autothysis, and she said, if creepers are solitary creatures, then I would say no. The thysis part of the word means sacrifice, and the authors who coined it also called it orasus altruism. So autothysis is not just self-destruction to hunt or kill an enemy, it's by definition for the benefit of a larger colony. But what if creepers actually are social creatures and we mistook them for solitary? After all, it's difficult to study them without getting blown up. Maybe their explosions are really a last-ditch effort to protect their friends. Do you think we've been looking at creepers all wrong? What if a creeper explosion is actually a sacrifice? She went on to say, if creepers are really social, that would be even more fitting, yes. For true autothysis, like ants and termites do it, the ones who explode would have to be sterile or unable to reproduce. In the superorganism model of social insects, queens and males are basically like the reproductive organs of the body and the workers are like the body's other cells. I like to compare the exploding workers to white blood cells that neutralize invading diseases, but also die in the process. In cells, that's called apoptosis. Can you imagine beetles that basically keep chemical warfare up their butts? Well, they are real, and they're called bombardier beetles. When threatened, these tiny little bugs will create a rapid-fire chemical reaction in their abdomen by combining the compounds hydroquinone and hydrogen peroxide. The results heat up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to boil water and produce gas, which forces an explosive pop, shooting out a boiling hot acid spray that can kill attacking insects and seriously irritate larger attackers. They say never bring a knife to a gunfight, but the bombardier beetle brought an exploding butt. They typically store enough ammo to pop 20 times without running out. The chemicals actually pulse at 500 beats per second, which keeps the beetle cool enough to survive the insane temperatures of the attack. They may not self-destruct like a termite or a creeper, but I think heating up and popping should still qualify them for this video. Can you imagine if creepers could explode 20 times instead of just once? That would be horrifying. This bug could probably make a creeper jealous. These beetles actually exist in every single continent except Antarctica, so one could be watching you right now. Probably not, but how would you know? I wonder if creepers explode using a similar chemical method. Let me know in the comments what you think. This beetle wants you to hit the subscribe button. You better do it, or else. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bees don't explode. And sure, they don't go boom like a creeper but they're literally dying for the opportunity to stab you, which earns them a spot on this list. While researching this video, I actually realized that bees are really interesting. They live in colonies with a single queen. 
thousands of female worker bees and a bunch of males called drones. The drone's only job is reproduction. Sounds like a great job, right? But check this out. When a honeybee stings someone, their barbed stinger is embedded into the flesh of their victim and rips apart from the bee's abdomen. It dies shortly after. It's brutal, but it's for the good of the colony. And bees can do more than just sting. When honeybees need to eliminate a threat, they can swarm them in an attack known as balling, basically forming a giant vibrating death ball that overheats and suffocates their attacker. By the way, did you know that creepers were first added to Minecraft when the game's creator, Notch, was trying to add a pig but accidentally mixed up the height and width? Then boom, the game's most iconic creature was born. So I guess you could say that creepers are bugs after all, eh? Get it? Creepers might not be insects though, they might be plants. Even the game's creator, Notch, once tweeted that he imagined them made of leaves, and honestly, that makes a lot of sense when you look at certain plants. Take the sandbox tree, also called the dynamite tree. This thing is a legit death trap. It grows up to 200 feet tall, is covered in spiky thorns, and produces poisonous sap. But the wildest part? Its pumpkin-shaped fruit explode when ripe, launching seeds at 160 miles per hour. The sandbox tree can be found in North and South America. This tree is a real-life boss fight for anyone who approaches it. And fun fact, many indigenous people have made poisonous arrows using the sap. So if a creeper saw this tree, do you think it would be proud or fall in love? But that's not the only plant-based bomber. There are many other types of fungi that can explode as a way of spreading spores, including Palobolus crystallinus, aka the dung cannon. This weirdly beautiful translucent fungus grow in animal poop and can be found all across the earth. It uses a type of water balloon pressure mechanism to shoot its spores up to 55 miles per hour. The spores accelerate at 20,000 g-force, which is more than a fighter jet pilot experiences. Can you imagine this thing shooting poop spores at you at 55 miles per hour? No thanks, I think I'd rather fight a creeper. Then there's puffball fungi, which are like little fungi grenades full of spores. When impacted, the spores are blasted out in a cloud of dust. It's like a fart that makes babies. Do you think that maybe when creepers explode, they're actually releasing spores? Could this be the key to creeper reproduction? The game's lead designer, Jeb, once said that, I think the green color is supposed to be camouflage, but we're still debating. Is it flesh, or is it more like leaves? Or is it fur? You don't really know just by looking at the pixels. So clearly, even the game's creators did not know what creepers are. Not to mention, in the recent Minecraft movie starring Jack Black, the creepers definitely appear to be made of grass or something plant-like. That seems like pretty solid proof that at least Warner Brothers thinks they are plants. Chicken Jockey. It's starting to make more and more sense that creepers might actually be plant-based. Or insect-based? Or both? What do you think? So why would a creeper explode itself on purpose? Entomologist Dr. Alice Lassini says, As far as we know, all animals that engage in autothesis are eusocial, so they live in colonies with a strict division of labor, which makes the individual animal act more like a cell within a larger superorganism. The animals that self-destruct are always workers, they cannot reproduce, and are all closely related. This way, the colony does not lose any members that would contribute to creating the next generation, and it makes sense for the individual workers to protect its siblings, and therefore its own genetic material, by giving its own life. Interesting, autothesis is an extremely effective form of defense for the creatures who use it. Do you think creepers might actually be like a very distant cousin to these ants? Maybe creepers are actually social insect creatures who explode as a sacrifice to protect their nearby families. Or do you think creepers are actually a plant-like creature who is spreading spores when it explodes? Unlike creepers, most fungi cannot walk around, so they evolve clever ways to spread their spores. But what if human players are actually part of the spore distribution process for creepers? And that is why they only explode near players. Do you think creepers might rely on humans to help distribute spores and create more creepers? Also, if creepers are actually plants, does that make them vegan friendly? I'm asking for a friend. Could you imagine if it was a combination of everything we have seen? Maybe creepers are social creatures who use a chemical reaction to explode as a form of defense which protects their family, but also to spread spores and reproduce. It's interesting to me how when insects explode, they usually self-destruct. 
But when plants explode, they usually reproduce. Sort of a yin-yang type situation. Maybe inside each of us, there is a plant and an ant, and we get to choose which one explodes. Let me know in the comments which creature you think was the most creeper-like. Did you know, this is actually the very first video on my channel, and you are one of my very first viewers. I want to sincerely say thank you for watching. I've worked really hard on the writing and animation, so if you enjoyed this deep dive into real life creepers, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. If you want to read more about these amazing creatures, I've linked sources in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.